But today is August 17th. I'm on my way out to my favorite piece of public hunting land. I'm gonna put some trail cameras up. I'm gonna check on my favorite trees to see if they're dropping acorns and or apples. I know there's some walnut trees out there. Any other uh, sign that I can find, I'm gonna take note of, get my plan in action here. I brought the drone with so we can do an overhead aerial shot and kind of get a layout of the land. Um, I was in here earlier this year kind of shed hunting, so I've got some spots in mind I'd like to put my trail cameras, particularly in a bedding area and um, same area where in fact I actually last year I shot a small buck. Uh, if you want to watch that video, go and check it out on my other page, or my other videos. But anyways, that same day that I shot that buck, there was another buck that was on a different part of the property that I actually got trail camera footage. I'll show you that. And uh, so we're going to get up in that area and check it out, see if there's a trail or anything that's indicating that he's still alive or in there. Set up the trail cameras and go from there. So thanks for joining and follow along with me as we go on this journey again on 2018 archery deer season here in Wisconsin. Let's do this. So as I walk in here, uh, right away, this apple tree is loaded with apples. Um, and there was a deer bed probably 15 yards south of it, so they're hanging out in this long overcut grass. Um, probably conserving the most energy they can while being so close to their food so let's hope we can get on one this year. This is the area I had my camera set up in last year and I got that nice eight pointer. I'm hoping he still lived and I'm hoping he still travels through this area. I'm going to put one of my cameras up. I'm going to go uh, further up the trail where I believe they're bedding and put another one up there and see if I can put that information together within a couple weeks and um, get a buck on the ground. I got my Moultrie game camera and the very cool thing about this is, is it has a auxiliary input for 12 volt um, auxiliary supply, so you don't necessarily have to use double A's that die in a week. What I've been using is I have a I have this mini sealed lead acid battery. It's about 15 amp hours. Last time I tested this out, um, it ran for easy one month without needing a charge. The only issue is, is you got to kind of hide this because we are on public land. So. Let's go about and do that.
The trick to these cameras is when you're on public land, you kind of want to get them up higher and aim them down. Also, that'll reduce the um, chance of a false trigger. There's an old trick my uncle taught me is to take dirt and put it on the fresh saw cuts so it's harder for somebody to see. my first set. Well everybody I'm back. A little bit sweaty. It's hot out here. Um, this here tree right here, this is the one I shot my doe in about two years ago with my crossbow. If you want to see that video, check it out. I don't know how to put the link in but I'll figure it out. It'll be up here somewhere. So judging from my past experience, I know that the deer, they, uh, they either come in from over there, you can see, that'd be the edge of like a little marsh, and then a finger of woods connects this area, and then there's an open field over that area. So I want to kind of put my trail camera somewhere in this vicinity to gather some intel on any deer moving through here. Now, I think with my best objective is to, or my best bet is to point it that crosses all three of these intersections. Keep it maybe even on this tree right here, I'm thinking. Um, my only worry is that I've seen what looked to be either, I'm pretty sure it was people tracks on the way in here. So after this stop, after I set this trail camera, I'm going to go up to that oak tree where I shot my two bucks out of. Check that out, see if it's dropping acorns. Then I'm going to go uh, over by the creek, see if I can um, get across that creek. If so, check out the black walnut tree. Somewhere in between there, I'm going to watch the drone so, and eat my lunch. But so far, so good on this beautiful afternoon. Get this other camera set up. Okay, so I, uh, I got my second Moultrie. Game, trama, game camera set out. Uh, that one I used a lithium homemade battery, so let's hope that lasts a couple months. Uh, I'll be back before then anyway, so I got it set to video. Problem with those Moultries is they only have 10 second videos, but with no time in between, it works out pretty good. So you can hear, th or I can hear thunder rumbling off in the distance, so I may have to cut my trip short. I'm not sure what kind of dead log this is, but I think these are oysters. Really fleshy. This is it right here. Smell like a buck tree. Shot two deer out there.
There's that oak tree. I want to see if I can see some acorns. Otters. That isn't that cool. That was a pretty cool experience. Uh, it was either three or four of uh, river otters. Now I believe they could smell my bug spray because they were actually going into the wind where I was just coming from. So how cool was that? Now I know what these weird tracks are. <coughs> Let's check them out. Otter. So as I'm walking on out of here, I see this weird little fungus in these red pines. I believe this is called Angel's Pipe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude our little scouting trip today. Uh, we obtained a few objectives. We got to set our trail cameras. 
we got to see some cool otters. We got to find some fresh deer sign, deer beds. The oak tree that I was looking at it has acorns and is dropping them, so that's always a good sign. So stay tuned. And with any, effort, with any luck, this extra effort that we're putting in now will pay off later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification button if you want to see more videos like this. Bye.